Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 31st. So, you know, the timing is fluid, and this reading may not be for you. So, let's get one of these for an overall energy. What do we have for around the 31st? Does it have to be the 31st? Really pay attention to what's coming out of your mouth. Pay attention to your work. Pay attention because everybody's watching. Everybody's listening. Somebody is pretending. Somebody is pretending to be happy. They're pretending. They're very superficial. They're very shallow. They're avoiding the truth, refusing to move on. Hmm. There's gossiping. There's some sort of competitiveness. There's lack of emotional growth. Somebody's not growing the way they should. Ooh, cycles. So we have a cycle that is changing, okay? Somebody is changing their life. A cycle, you know, you think about cycle, the Wheel of Fortune, that is always changing. Things are always changing. Um, constant motion. Probably some sort of positive change is coming. <laughs> Somebody could end up at the right place at the right time. You know, this is about taking a journey, okay? It's about taking a journey. Um, something is about to change in a positive way. That's what I got to say. And it has to do with um, destiny, as it must. It has to. Um, there's a destined change, of course, here. Everything changes. Nothing stays the same. A new cycle is about to begin, and I think this is very positive. I feel a very positive energy here. But it feels like we have some sort... I mean, this person doesn't look very happy. It's like out of sadness comes a new beginning. So that's what I see. And I'm sorry to say that, but you notice it looks like there's some sort of sadness here. It does. It does. So out of sadness comes a new beginning. Hmm. I think we have somebody here that has been repeating. They have been repeating, obviously, their same lessons. Remember yesterday, the first card was the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So that makes sense. And that is a horrendous loss. Your past coming back to haunt you. So interesting. So now things are changing. So there's a, a positive change coming. Hmm. Nine of Pentacles. Now the Nine of Pentacles is about independence. It's security. It's stability. The storm is over when you get the Nine of Pentacles. There's, 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 Somebody is going to be enjoying life a lot more. There's nothing to worry about. There could also be a wish that is being granted. Because I see that as a wishing well. This person is... We have a very comfortable individual who is getting... It's like... They're very stable. This person is holding on to something valuable. Has uh, something valuable in their hand. Knows their value. We have a very valuable. I mean, this is the. This is basically the Empress in the Minor Arcana. Okay? This is somebody who doesn't need anybody. I'm comfortable. I'm good. I'm stable. I'm solid. I'm secure. You know, I don't, I don't need anybody. This is a hard worker. Somebody who is self sufficient. Somebody who acts with integrity as well. Hmm. Very graceful energy and comfortable. Hmm. Nothing to worry about here. We have this individual who has nothing to worry about. This person is like, you know, I don't need anybody. I, I can take care of myself. Thank you very much. A wish is being granted. I knew it. I knew it. There is absolutely a wish that is going to be granted. 
I mean, this diary, I all know that. And I, it's funny, the words, they just give me the messages like that. Anyway, this is, this is guaranteed success. We have an independent person who has found the strength to do it alone. It's like, I can do it alone. I know that I can do it alone. And this is guaranteed success. Now, somebody may be going their own way business-wise, or they may, you know, deciding that they're going to depart from, and it's sad. It is sad, you know? It's sad sometimes when you have to do things by yourself, but sometimes, you know, it's the only way to go. It is. Because you don't have to answer to anybody else. You know? There's nothing to, there really is seriously nothing to worry about. You don't have to cater to anybody. You don't have to uh, live by their standards. You, it's easy. So we have somebody's, and, and, and you know, it's like you, you just prepare yourself. You, you enjoy your life. You do your own thing. And now some sort of wish is going to be granted. And there's guaranteed success because it takes a lot of strength to go alone, to do it alone. That is like the ultimate strength. When you don't need another person to complete you or do it for you or to hold your hand, that is the ultimate strength. It really is. This is somebody who chooses to do it their own way because they know that they're capable. We have a very capable individual, capable of success. This person has a lot of uh, self-confidence and self-esteem. Anyhow, with the star card, that is guaranteed success for this confident individual who knows what they want. This person knows their value, knows their worth, and knows what they want, and they know what they can, are capable of. Now, the star is also unexpected help. So, this person that is alone, that, isn't even, that is just like, I'm, I, I'm great, I'm good, may be getting some sort of unexpected help or something unexpected. And this seems kind of unexpected. What I wanted to say was serendipity at the right place at the right time. But I was like, oh, I'm not sure if that fits. But that's what came to my mind. But this it could certainly be that. Now, this person is absolutely shining bright. Because they don't have any stress. There's no stress. There's there's no stress. Not much, okay? Yeah, there might be work stress or whatnot. But they're they're definitely shining, okay? They're glowing, very comfortable, at ease. So there is some sort of wish that is being granted. It's like there's some sort of help, I think, that is arriving, even though this person doesn't need it. Now this is also a blessing. And this, and this, and you notice there's pentacles in here. So it's like some wishes have been granted. This person's been waiting. Hasn't, probably hasn't really been, this person hasn't thrown it in the wishing well yet. So it's like, hmm, I'm just going to wait. So this person has been waiting and waiting and waiting. Waiting for the right time. Waiting to be ready. Waiting to, so yeah, this person has been very wise. Waiting for the right moment. But now perhaps they have made a wish and that wish is going to be granted. Or, you know, who knows what has been going on over here. Very interested. I mean, very interesting. Page of Rods reversed. Hmm, pessimistic. Yeah, that makes sense. We do have somebody here that is pessimistic. Pessimistic about letting anybody in. Letting anybody help them. Had to do it alone, right? Had to prove themselves. Had to pick themselves up from rock bottom. Now wait, now there's pessimism here. Fear of, of getting themselves involved with somebody that's not well suited for them. This is also bad news, not good news. Boring and no fun. So yeah, this person might not be a lot of fun because they're so focused on their success. This person has grown to be strong alone. So this person may seem a little boring. But it looks like something is coming. Something is coming out of the blue. You notice something is coming out of the blue for this person who is very pessimistic. Interesting. Oh, fear. We got somebody here that is really scared. Ten of Rods, very, very scared, overwhelmed, overworked, very, uh, you know, has a lot of responsibilities. Um, mm -hmm. 
guarded be definitely this person is you know this is overwhelmed we do have somebody here that is overwhelmed fearful too much this is too much interesting working too many responsibilities or something oh a message is re arriving somebody is sending a message news is about to arrive <laughs> queen of cups an offer of love there is an offer of love. I think we have somebody here that is wanting this person to give them a chance. You know, but they know this person is strong. They know this person doesn't need them. They know this person is very independent. It's like, hmm. It's like they, I think they want to approach. And they're probably going to, but they're fearful. There's definitely some fear here. interesting somebody is going to be sending a message they have been hiding and they're gonna come out of hiding they've been hiding behind but behind the a wall maybe it's their own wall so somebody has been hiding they have not been speaking up but perhaps their gut, their intuition, or something is telling them to. It's like they're being pulled. They're being guided. They're being, they are. They're definitely being guided to communicate. They're being guided to step forward. They're being guided to come forward. But we have somebody here that has been, I think, very reluctant to open up. They may be, there could be some fear of rejection. That's what it is, too. We see, uh, what I see is that we have somebody here that wants to step forward. But they're fearful to communicate for fear of rejection. You know, they're, they are. They're definitely fear of rejection because this person is so strong. Interesting. Ooh, th this person has decided to be single. This, this, I'm telling you what, the high priest just reversed is somebody who has chosen to be single, chosen to be independent. This person doesn't need to be single. No way. This person is stable. This person has, is, is really, you know, has everything going for them. Okay. This, we have somebody over here that has chosen to be single, not because they have to. Because, you know, I don't need anybody. I really don't. And if you don't meet the criteria that, I mean, the criteria. If you don't meet the criteria, then please don't bother. And I think that whoever is watching, and I do believe there has somebody that has been watching, you know, is interested, is probably like, damn, I don't want to be rejected, but that is the one that I want. They've been keeping it to themselves because of this person is like, you know, Seriously, I don't need anybody. So we have this probably intimidating. Knows their value. Re this that is the pentacle. That pentacle is value. This person has. But the, you think about the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles has manifested something. This person has manifested something, even if it's subconsciously. This person may have been dreaming or asking for, you know, love, and it's like okay. All right, well, here it comes. You may not want it, but it's coming. It's coming. You've chosen to be single, and, you know, you're thinking pessimistically and that you don't need anybody and you don't want anybody, but it's coming. It's coming. Oh, yay. So, uh, hmm. Oh, yeah, so this is somebody that's going fishing. This is fishing right here. This is like an, a golden opportunity, right? He's, this person is, is just fishing for her golden opportunity. So I think there, I think there is somebody that is uh, going to try their luck. 
they are definitely gonna try their luck they're gonna take a risk and they're gonna they're gonna give it a shot so i do believe that we have this independent person and this reading obviously will not be for everybody we do because this is this was the first card right okay so we do have a single person right here that is going to this person thinks they're gonna catch something right i'm gonna i'm gonna catch that i am gonna catch it that is the catch look at the smile okay this one is the, definitely the catch i mean stable solid secure valuable doesn't go out uh to the bar hopping around sleeping with every tom dick and harry you know that ain't this person this person is works, 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 stays home, is very is a homemaker. This is if you think about the Empress in the minor Empress, okay, this is the Empress in the Minor Arcana. You know, uh, yeah, this is a homemaker. Okay. This is somebody who uh likes nice things and doesn't isn't sleazy at all. Okay, so that is definitely the catch, okay? So, um somebody is is looking to uh catch themselves somebody of value and i think that there is going to be some sort of message that is delivered in the very near future this person has been hiding because of their fear of rejection they have they have but I think they are going to step forward even though they're fearful, even though they're scared, you know. I think they are. I think they're going to give it a shot. Um, oh, oh, five of swords now. <laughs> now this is defeated. This is defeated. We have, we have somebody here that uh, is definitely a three. This, this person is afraid is very 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 much afraid and that's why they are single and that's why they have chosen to be single very 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 afraid afraid of getting hurt yes sir mm -hmm. yep been belittled been brought down been hurt really really bad uh, perhaps there was even some children involved. It's like, you know, I, my, I gotta protect my kids. I gotta protect myself. And the last one really just about killed me, you know, and I barely escaped alive. <laughs> so anyhow, um, I think we have somebody here that is extremely fearful of, of, uh, getting themselves caught up in any sort of getting hooked, right? So, yeah, we do have this independent person that is afraid of getting hooked. Uh, yes, sir. But uh, somebody is going to approach, okay? They're going to take a chance, and they are willing to do whatever it takes to prove themselves. So I do feel like we have somebody here that is going to step forward and communicate. This person is optimistic, and they think that they can win this person over. Yes, sir. They do. They absolutely do. I feel like they are going to, they see this as an opportunity. It could lead to more. They feel like this person um, could be marriage material. You know, they could build a foundation with this person and they are going to step forward and communicate. They are. They are. They're looking for a commitment and they're looking for something long term and they're going to step forward and they're going to speak, you know, how they feel. Okay, they got this idea that this is the one and they're going to they they are definitely going to uh make it a point to communicate and and give it a shot. They're going to test their luck and try to hook this person. <laughs> that is great. So anyway, um I feel like we are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Aquarius here. We have uh, Virgo. Um, we have everybody. It doesn't really matter. We have uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but I do feel like... Um, I mean, we have everybody. We do. 
We have somebody here that is probably very, very fearful of rejection, but I think they are going to take a chance because they see this as an opportunity, a golden opportunity. And it feels like they've also been guided with that star card. They have been guided to do so. It's like, it's time. It's like, it's time. I'm going, I've got to show myself. I've got to show myself now. I've got to make an approach now. And I feel like this person, um, it's almost like this person has been watching this person and they and they show up at the same place and they it's like they show up on purpose. It's like they know where you go. They've been watching this person and they show up on purpose so that they can run into them. You know what I mean? So be prepared for that. Um it's like you, 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 this person doesn't see it coming and this person, all of a sudden, this person is right there. It's like this person is right there and they got something to say. Now, it, this could also be text messages, okay? This could be messenger. Whatever it is, th there is going to be some sort of communication that comes through and it's probably going to be shocking. This person is going to be shocked. They're going to be shocked. This person will probably say, you know, I've been interested in you in a while, for a while. I've been, you know, scared or something like that, you know. You're, you're, you're a little intimidating to me. You know, whoever this person is, they are intimidated by this person. This person is very spiritual as well. And it's just like, hmm. So, anyway, um... Be prepared for, and this could, some sort of communication to come through. And, and uh, it feels like this person uh, is looking for a commitment. They are looking for a commitment. You could meet this person um, anywhere, anywhere. It feels like you're going through some doors, though. There's some sort of doors which is interesting. Um, there's also a lot of nature here. So you could be out fishing. <laughs> you could be on a trail. You could be on a trail. You know, you meet this person on a hiking trail. For some of you, well, I don't know where you live or what time of year it is where you live, but it's freezing cold here. Um, I feel like this person likes to travel. And they probably like to go fishing, which is great. Anyhow, good luck.